What is going on everyone? Today we have a charger from Pion Power. This looks like a typical mobile connector that you find from Tesla or other mobile connectors that we have reviewed in this channel, but this one does a little bit more. It actually allows you to take a look at your energy consumption. It shows the voltage, it shows the amp, it shows everything on your mobile device. And not only that, you're also able to start charging, stop charging, schedule charging, and see the history of how much kilowatt hour your car has been taking. And this is a great option for Tesla owners because they can use the J1772 adapter and charge their Tesla, but also mainly for other electric vehicles that takes the typical level two charger. And this is just a plug and play for that purpose. Pion Power is a Canadian company, and this is the only product that I saw on their website. You can purchase this from Amazon or directly going through their website. I'm gonna try to work out some discount code for you all so that you can check this out with a discount code. But in Amazon, there's often discount code that you can find by clipping the coupon on directly. So the price changes, fluctuates. I'm just gonna put today's price on the link down below. So let me do a quick unboxing, show you what the packaging includes. I'm gonna plug it into my Tesla. I'm gonna show you some of the charge rate. I'm gonna show you how to connect to the app and then do an honest review of what I think about this product. It comes in a really nice carrying case, so it is easy for you to take it anywhere you go. It's a very secured box. And then this is what the packaging looks like. So you've got your charger. So this is the charger itself. It also has this wall mount, uh, which we can install on the wall and then it will just become like a wall mounted charger. They also send you the plug holder. So then you install this onto the wall and then it will hold the plug down. Then um, of course there's the other end of the charger. This is the SAE J1772 charger. Uh, they send you a little lock right here. I mean, it doesn't do much security wise, but you could lock your charger here and then you have got two different inputs. So if you're going to be charging from a regular 110 connector, this is the plug that you're gonna want. And then this is for the NEMA 1450, the 240 volt connector. And it's a very straightforward process. It's exactly like the Tesla's mobile connector. You got this pin right here, and all you have to do is plug this in. And that's it, you're ready to go. You can just plug this into the wall connector. So let's, let's plug this into the wall plug and start charging our Tesla. So for a 110 outlet like this, all you have to do is plug this 110 here, the plug that came with the kit, and then you take this 110 input and then just plug it into your 110 outlet. Then you're ready to start charging the car. On the other end, if you have a J1772 plug for your car, that's the standard, that's what most EVs take these days, then you can just directly plug this into your car. But with the Tesla, we need a converter. So this is a J1772 to Tesla converter. And for Tesla, we just have to plug this in. Then when this locks, we can go ahead and just plug this end into Tesla and it starts charging. With Tesla, we're getting 12 amp. So that's the maximum it will do with a 110 outlet. So it is showing 12 amp and 117 volt. We charge this about five miles per hour. That is pretty typical with a 110 outlet. So for the 240 volt outlet, this is the NEMA 1450 we have. All you have to do is remove this 110 that we installed earlier and plug in the 240 right here. Make sure it's secure. Then you can just go ahead and plug this into the NEMA 1450 and you'll see a indicator right here. So it's ready to go. All we have to do is plug in this other end to your car. And again, if you have the J1772, directly plug this in. If you have a Tesla, you're gonna need an adapter. So we put the adapter here and we start charging. We're getting the full 32 amps that my car takes and charging about 30 miles per hour, which is very similar to Tesla's mobile connector as well as other level two chargers that we have reviewed in this channel. So they also send you two mounting hardware and this one is for the charger itself. And then this one is for the end of the charger, this guy right here. So how this one works, the main one is that, you know, you hopefully your plug is kind of higher out here somewhere where you can mount this into the wall, use the screws that came with the kit and then mount this into the wall. And then essentially what happens is then you can just put this in and it holds the charger for you. So it ni nicely holds the charger for you. Let's say your plug was somewhere here, then it would be really nice to just have this as a mounting. Then you can remove it and take this charger, but then this mounting hardware stays here. And all you have to do is bring this back and then slide it and then plug. 
so that it kind of looks like a wall charger and it stays there for the purposes of charging while you are at home. Now this next one is for this adapter, the, the top one right there. And all you have to do is it clicks. So it clicks into place. So if you were to mount this, there are screw holes right here. If we were to mount this into the wall, then you can also pull, pull the cables around it here so that it can hold the cable, but it will also plug this right here and clicks into place. So, so then again, it will just be fixed in the, in the wall. And if you have to remove this charger, you can just remove it, charge it, then you can put this back so that it's not dangling if it stays fixed in the wall. Let's talk about the app. The app is called Pion Smart Charger. Inside the interface, first thing you can do is start charging. When you hit that stop button, it asks you if you want to adjust the current and time for charging. If you want your vehicle to slow charge, uh, this might be the case sometime if you don't have higher amperage on your outlet and if you really need to limit it to let's say 8 amp, then you can do that by just dragging that amp so that your breakers don't flip, especially if you have a crowded outlet. Then you can adjust it, then once you confirm, the charging begins. While charging, you can see the charge time used, kilowatt hour, current, voltage, power, charger temperature, and so much more. If you click on the temperature icon, it shows the temperature trend for each charger module. Not sure if this is really helpful for everyday use, but the data is there if you wanted to see it. Then when you go into the trend, that is when you see the charging history. And right now where it shows that I had charged 7.4 kilowatt hour worth of energy the other day and it shows that and if I had more, it will just show it right here and it will stagger and then it will show you the history over time. Then if you click on that little clock icon in the bottom, this is where you can schedule charging. So if you hit that plus icon on the very top, that is when you can adjust the charging current. Again, this is very useful. If you have a crowded outlet, you don't have enough capacity, so you don't want your breakers to flip, you can suddenly adjust this to whatever you want. And if you go to let's say 15 amp here, it will, it will show attention, overcurrent can cause overheating or damage to the power outlet. So it gives you that warning. Uh, you can also go more than 15 amp. This charger will allow you to go significantly more than that, but since I had charged last charge with the 110 outlet is assuming that I can only go 15 amp here, but I can go all the way to 40 amp with this charger. Then I can do start time. So I can put whatever start time I want. I can also do the end time. And then I can select which days I want this schedule to take effect. And I can select different schedules, different time. This is really great so that you can schedule charging during non-peak hours. So you can take advantage of peak pricing if your utility offers that and if you have a non-Tesla vehicle. Of course, if you have a Tesla, you can certainly do some of this and view some of this data directly from the, your charge stats and you can schedule charging and you can see the kilowatt hour. But this app is specifically useful for non-Tesla EVs that do not offer this level of data that you can see from your app. I think this is a great alternative to Tesla's mobile connector for Tesla owners. And this one actually includes additional features of app control. For Tesla owners, as I said before, you can always use the Tesla app to monitor your power consumption to see your charging cost. But the power monitoring is not available in many other electric vehicles. And this charger allows you to have that option. So you can monitor the kilowatt hour that your car is taking. You can monitor some of the voltages and whatnot and see all of that information in the app. This also allows electric vehicle owners to schedule charging, especially to take advantage of the non-peak hour charging to save an electricity cost. And as I said before, not a lot of EVs out there have that option, the scheduling option especially, so that you can not only monitor the power, but you can also schedule your charging. This is made out of high quality material and very comparable to other level two chargers we have reviewed. The temperature and voltage sensors protect your car battery and wall outlets from overheating and over voltage, and there are also many other safety features built into this charger. The current pricing is a little steep, honestly, with a $500 even included a coupon in Amazon. However, you do get the app monitoring, schedule, and portable fast charging that is compatible with all J1772 EVs and Tesla. They also provide a three-year warranty and a dedicated Canadian customer service line. What do you think about this EV charger? Have you heard of Pion Power before? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back again with another video like this in the near future.